What's up, my pilots? We are back playing Black and White 2. And the migrating Norse have almost reached our influence ring. Look at how close they are. Yeah, they're almost there. Look at it. These people have come to join our town. Pick up their migration flag and drop it anywhere within our influence ring. It's really easy, actually. You just grab it, put it over here. Oh, thank you. And that says, thank yes, you, I want Uncle you to join my town. Into your magnificent town. They're going to need homes, so don't forget to build more houses if you get more people. Let's see how far, but how far we can make this tumor extend. <laughs> just fill it up with houses. So now we have no buildings under construction, which means our builders are going to be standing around idly next to the town center, see? So are the breeders. Anybody who has a job to do, but for some reason or another can't do it, will just stand around like an idiot right next to the town center. But at least they all do it in one place, so if you're looking for people who don't have jobs and or need to, a new job, go look by the town center and you'll find those people who aren't busy. Of course you always can just grab anybody you want. It's not like there's any rules stopping you from doing things one way or the other. It's all a lot of personal preferences. So we'll let the builders handle those. Oh yeah, you see, they've already left the town center and they're headed over to go start building. Now, the building here in the middle that shows up on the uh, city center there, the town center, that's the building that your people most want. And in this case, it's the storehouse. Click on the so we can grab it off, put it over here, and build a new storehouse because, as you can see, if you can see in the middle of the screen there, our food for our other one, full. Which means we need a second storehouse to store the extra food. We're going to quickly run out of food now that we've accepted more people into town. Which means we probably should build... Yes, build another farm. So the influence ring bubbled out. Very nice. A field. This is actually a farm. So we'll just do that. That's fine. They'll be able to handle it. So you see, they're not picking any one house. They're sort of wandering up and down, doing, doing whatever's closest to them. And now they want houses, so we're good. If your if your town's most desired building is a house, that's generally like the status quo. Oh, we got our target population. Cool. Means we're gonna start impressing the other towns into joining us soon. All right, let's do the next tutorial. I swear they come to an end soon. Are where you can turn your people into warriors. You know it. Warriors who can take other towns and lands by force. Mm -hmm. Buying the armory is the first step towards having an army. Select the tribute menu. I had to purchase the armory, actually. The, the blueprint. Ha! Huh, temple! Why build that when you can build an armory? <laughs> Recruit armies made up of strong, brave swordsmen, almost scarily eagle to do, to do battle in your name against your enemies. Pray crusades! Select the armory from the construction menu, then place it down in your town. See that, that popped up for a second there? That statue that appeared for just a, just a moment? That statue indicates the people's desire to breed. <laughs> I know, right? If it were my statue, it would just be there all the time. Oops, don't hit, don't hit the center. I haven't explained how to build roads yet, but it's very straightforward. You honestly just grab wherever the road surface is and drag it to wherever you want it to go. Very easy. Shaking your mouse back and forth will cancel whatever's in your hand. You notice how I build at the edge of my ring? I do that because when the building is finished, it will extend the ring more. Essentially, it'll reach farther out. Bigger and more impressive buildings like temples, the creature's lair, uh, the creature's pen, I guess it's called. Uh, they'll, they'll expand your ring a lot more than little buildings like storehouses or houses. The armory is, I guess, a mid-tier mid as far as it, it's expanding the influence ring is concerned. And you really can just reach as far as you like. If it's on the screen, you can grab it. So I don't have to go over there to get these ore rocks. I can just snatch them up from right where I'm sitting. Nope, not a mine worker. Whoops. No, cool. that's not oh, right. Th 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 the green Whatever, ring you're a farmer you now. see I can't is reach the, the extent mine. of your influence. And bam, memory's done. Sweet. Actually, a pretty big bolt. Warriors form platoons. They're recruited via the flags on the top of the armory. Pick up one of the flags on the armory, then place it in the highlighted area. Bam! That'll make Dropping a platoon of soldiers. Dropping a flag will make a standard-sized platoon. To recruit a larger platoon, hold down the action button, then drag away from the flag. See these guys? P 
People who are eligible to join your army include men ages 18 to 65 who do not currently have a disciple job. So you see everyone who's going to go become a soldier? They're essentially going to become like disciple soldiers. And those men who were those lucky bastards who got assigned to be breeders for the rest of their lives. I guess that's okay. He's got good genes. Look at that beard. Look at that beard. Oh, man, he's got... What is he looking at? It's like he's watching the army form, I think. Because he's looking over there at where the army's coming together. So you see these people, these jobless guys, all your hobos in your town. Your army of hobos starts to form. And, yeah, okay. Cool. Why did that tree fall over? Get that out of my face. But come here to the tent. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to spend a little bit of ore to build these guys. We can hover over that, that'd be great. I'd love for that to pop up so I can see what it says. Yeah, see, ore... It'll take three ore per soldier you want to put into the army. But basically, I guess that makes their, like, sword and armor. That's what that's supposed to represent. Okay, hello, we need one more guy. <laughs> Where's the slacker? Okay, he, he showed up. Alright. We're good to go. All armies are the best thing ever! But you're gonna need to keep them under control. So you need to know all about these here flags. Every platoon has a flag. You know you it. You can see it held up high above the army, and also in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Each platoon type has a different color and symbol on their flag to make them easy to identify. This one is a swordsman platoon. The flags also tell you what rank the platoon is. Those pips along the top indicate the rank, from raw recruits to seasoned veterans. If you click on the flags in the bottom right with the action button, you pick up the flag and gain control of the platoon. Click on the flag with the move button, and you'll go directly to the platoon. And there you have it, the basics of army flags. Pick up the platoon flag, boss. Got it. Let's go. That's perfect. Click on the highlighted area <laughs> to tell them to go there. This is if supposed you to be outside your town. An action and empty your hand. Simply shake it briskly left and right. Yeah, not too fast. If you start doing stuff like this, it's not going to drop it. You have to just sort of just do like this right here. See, look what they're doing. They finished like three of the houses that I started, and the other five are all like in various stages of completion. Like if they just focus on these four instead of doing these guys halfway, these four will be done already, and they'd have more houses. They're not very smart in the way that they do things, but they do get it done eventually, and they're very persistent. Okay, boss, let's get aggressive! With the platoon flag in the hand, click on the enemy town center. This will order your troops to take over the town. Yep, let's go down here and grab the platoon flag. Come here, you. Hello. There it is. And click here, it says capture. And it'll tell you. Impressiveness required to capture oh, zero. Okay, so we basically would have already had this town anyway. In fact, they're all standing around like they're ready, like they're ready to migrate, but it doesn't matter. Off we go! You're required to take this little town by impressing them, and take this little town by capturing them. It's basically part of the tutorial. They're put there, so you can do that. Then there are these two other towns who actually have some soldiers running around. I don't like the look of those fellows. Me either. Let me zoom in on some of these guys. They're really ugly. Yeah, here's some. An army marches jokers. on its stomach, and these guys will eat twice the normal rate. So keep an eye out on your stores. Yeah, just let them go. <laughs> the soldiers generally don't eat too much, unless you are uh, if you're an evil god who likes to build really big armies. It might become an issue for you uh, in late in in a world when you have a huge army. But for me, it's not even a, a, a problem. So there's these little signs here. They'll give you tips and stuff. You really want to click on these signs because you're going to get some money for them if you find all of them. Yeah, so there's those two it. right next to the town. Attack. Oh dear. There's another one in the field oh, over here. You know it doesn't have to be war leader. That's three. You can take towns by impressing them too. So now we've gotten the three that are in our influence ring, haven't we? There's more out here, but we can't get to them because there's no way to click on them unless we're inside. Well, no, we can't click on them if we're outside the influence ring. Okay, cool. Well, I can go ahead and start doing this while we're doing nothing else. So basically, if you find all these, you'll get some uh, some money. So there's two up there. There's two right next to your mine. One in the fields next to your, your town right there. They're gonna be the same places, no matter. Way to go! 
you gotta watch. More followers for our glorious war machine. Yeah. I know there's now one down on the beach. This town. Let's go get you that one. You can do anything in the green yeah. influence ring, just like in your town, boss. Oh yeah. Attack Here is it the is, best yeah. form of defense. Get your armies out there. A newly created platoon starts at experience level yeah, one. Right too. Oh, Unless they fight, take. they gain experience. When the platoon's experience too, reaches a certain threshold, they go up to the next experience level, and with it, their skills such as fighting and speed improve. Lastly, if you want to disband the platoon, drop the platoon's flag onto an armory and let those weaklings off the hook. There's another one there. Getting rid of these is kind Look of like at a that town. It's not dissimilar from ours. You need what? See, you can win by taking over towns using force, or by impressing the people in those other towns. Let's say I don't like somebody yeah, being in that town. I can move into this town by well, just actually, grabbing them and moving them. You can win by a mixture of impressing and ah. war. You know. Of course, it would take forever Unless to do them one by the one. The time it? of innocence draws to a close. You must take a step down the road of good or evil. And by the way, war is evil, and I'm evil. You get where I'm coming from. The time to choose, boss. Ooh, peer pressure. So much peer pressure. Okay. Look at all the bronze scrolls and gold scroll. Look at these lines coming off of the ground. How could you miss this stuff? They shoot up into the sky like Lord knows what. Okay. Let's find the rest of these signs. That's the most exciting quest we've had so far, isn't it? Find all the amazing signs. Now, if I remember correctly, ones you have not clicked on will be spinning. Ones you have clicked on will be sitting still, facing towards the camera. So you see, this guy, I already know I've got him. As I move around him, he's going to spin. See how the sign turns to be facing the direction which I'm facing? It's kind of a telltale sign of the sign being already found. Alright, so let's see. I know there's a bunch of them down here at the very bottom, so I'm going to go down to this end of the island here. And zoom in right here. Because there is a, a number of these signs. Click Normally, on the gold oh, scroll. No, we're good. We're not going to click on the gold scroll yet. Let's see how many we can get here. Come on, get it. One. Yeah, this is the real jackpot here. Two, three, four... Or it doesn't matter how many you really get, it's just you have to get all of them. So the fact that there's a bunch here just means that we're going to hopefully complete them sooner. It doesn't give us a bonus for finding a bunch of once. There we go. How many are we missing now? Let's see if I can look at the menu. Hello, come up here. Thank you. This is your goals. This one right here, F6. Uncover every digit no sign. We got 17 out of 20. Okay, there's a few that we've missed. And they're... I bet you there's a pair of them. I thought I remember where these were. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, like, f okay, there's the pair that I was thinking of. Right here. Just sort of south of our town. So there's one more that we're missing. Where could it be? You guys might have even seen it, because with this game, there's a lot going on on the screen at any given time. And so the odds of me s missing something are actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know what the odds of you guys catching it if I miss it, because I generally know what I'm looking for. I thought there were three in your town. Maybe I missed one down here. Well, there's two over here and one over there. So, maybe I did get all of those. Does that make me crazy? I did not know that that was CeeLo Green's previous band. That actually surprised me a lot because I like that song and I really like F U. It's a good song. I have a really eclectic taste in music, so hey, there's a sign. Did we get this one already? I think we did. Yeah, it's not spinning. Ugh. This must be so boring to watch. Screw that. We're not going to do that right now. All right. Uh, bronze right. scroll. Here you can find all the important tasks that will enable you to complete a land, yep. and also some less important tasks that are just interesting to do. The <laughs> tabs right. at the bottom right control which objectives you are looking at, either all of them or a selection from the total. 
The Objectives window up in the top left also displays the objectives. You only need to complete the Gold Scroll objective to complete the land, but you learn more tribute by undertaking some of the other ones. Yes, you earn tribute for every objective you complete. Yep, that was useful to know. That was a real break, wasn't it? Just a, a joyous thing to behold. Sometimes I'll miss one in this long line down here. I'm hoping that I can just like spot one, but oh, come on! Click on the gold scroll. I'm not gonna click on the gold scroll, so stop asking. We're gonna do this forever. I'm never leaving this land. I'd like it here. We have a peaceful village. There's a bunch of ugly Those Norsemen running around. Those people look a little desperate. Look at them, they're running around in circles. Of course they're desperate. Alright, back home. One more bronze scroll. As our city grows, the greater the distance our villagers will have to travel. To aid their little feet, we can build roads. To build a road, grab an existing road by holding down the action button. <laughs> then drag out the shape of the road you want. When you're happy with it, click the action button. There's two beaches. Is there one on this beach too? Wait, put that get that thing off my screen. Have a go at building a road. I built like eight roads already. You weren't you, you weren't paying attention back then? Alright, look. Look at this beautiful road. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was a good road too. Alright, dang it. I want this last sign. I found all these in my practice. Grr, arg. Oh, this is a, that's actually a useful one here. Yeah, let's, let's let's do this one next. What a beautiful sunset! Yeah, you gotta love a big ball of fire. You know it. I don't think that's what he meant. They look at each other like what? Again. <laughs> By clicking the action button on the sky, the hand will change to sundial mode. When the action button is released, the sun will move in the heavens. Ah, power over the sun. But with great power comes great responsibility. Boss, show us how it's done. Just grab it and go wee. Make some random time. Who well cares? done, leader. But all light needs a shadow. Change the time to night. Will do. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Well done. Haha, <laughs> 2,000 tribute for making it night. Now oh, these signs are driving me crazy. I want that last sign. I want it. You don't get a whole lot for the signs quest, so if you don't feel like doing it yourself, I totally wouldn't blame you. And you probably don't even feel like watching me do it. So let's do a more interesting quest. Let's do this one here. This involves the time of day. You have to do the, to do the tutorial before you can do this quest here. So peaceful with the sheep and the guy taking a nap. There's a chicken. A rooster, rather. What a jackass waking that guy up. No, oh, I need help. This rooster wakes me up every single day. I can't get enough sleep. Please help me to silence it. Maybe we can help him, leader. Such tasks do reap rewards, you know. Tribute. Roosters always crow when the sun comes up. Perhaps if the sun came up a few times in a row, the rooster would keep crowing until it gets hoarse. Alright, so basically, make it day. He'll crow. Make it night, he'll shut up. And repeat the process. So basically, you play the sun song three times. And he crows himself straight hoarse. Huh, <laughs> crow, horse, get it? They're both animals. That's not even a pun. <laughs> now he's just like trying to make sound, and the guy's like, "Ah, back to bed." Well done. That irritating rooster has lost his God, voice. God, so angry he was. He's like that irritating <laughs> rooster. Cool, ten thousand tribute. That's the easiest ten thousand tribute I've ever earned. I tell you, this is probably the hardest two thousand tribute I've ever earned. Is finding all these freaking signs. There's always that one that you miss, you know? You get it and you got all but one, and then it's like, nope, can't find that last one. Who knows where it could be. There's one back near the enemy town. By itself, I think, but... 
Yeah, we got that nice long line of them. We got all of those. Any, any in the woods there? Putting your camera up higher can actually make it easier to see them. Is there one back here? I'm by this hill, maybe? Over here somewhere? I'm just looking places at places that would seem like like logically like good hiding places for the sign. My army's just sitting there. They're not really doing anything right now. They don't need to be. Nothing to be done. This world is very easily beaten with impressiveness. You don't need to go out starting fights unless you really want to. Which, I mean, can be fun. But it's evil. Evil. Click on the gold scroll. Alright, fine. We'll click on the gold scroll in the next episode of Let's Play Black and White 2. I know things aren't kind of... Are, they're, they're, I mean, they are going really slowly, but this is a long game. And we've generally... We've got a lot of time, so... I can put out these videos at a high rate if you guys are enjoying them. Let me know. Am I showing too much? Is it boring? Uh, I'm probably going to cut out the rest of the search for that sign, I'll tell you that. But I'm, I'm telling you, these first, this first world and the first world after this, like two and three out of the nine, are the ones where I'll be showing the most. By the time we get to like six, I'll probably be cutting out like half of what happens, just because it'll be something you've seen before. I'm going to establish a precedent in the next world. This first land, I sort of just built a random town, just going off in random directions. Roads going to nowhere and stuff like that. I generally have a system, a really nice and effective system of building towns. And in the next episode, or the next world at least, when we get around to it, I'm going to teach you guys that system. And then we'll uh, basically apply it to our victory from then on. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Black and White 2, when we will start the video by having found that last sign. See you guys then. Oh, um... Comments. Tell me what you think of this game. Let me know your, your, your suggestions, your ideas. Do you, want me to, do you want me to throw people off of mountaintops? That's kind of fun, actually. Or uh, if you want to see something in particular. Or if you just have questions about this game, like... I've played this a few times, and so there might be a really obvious, like, big question that I somehow have missed. Let me know. Where in the world is that sign? Rrr.